Good morning, I'm Elizabeth Mendenhall and I have an office in Columbia, Missouri with about 200 agents. And I was so proud and honored to get to be introduced and, and to introduce our next presenter who is Adam Harvey with Guard Llama. As a real estate broker, my office is six hours north of Little Rock, Arkansas. And so for most of us, we remember the story of Beverly Carter and the tragic ending to her life when she was unfortunately killed while she was showing property. And it has increased our awareness of our situations at all times, but what it has also done is it's pointed out to the public that we're a target. And the public has to understand that we have to practice real estate differently. They have to understand that we need to put in increased security measures in place. And when we ask for an ID, that's important. And all those steps are great, but I still just have that feeling in my stomach as a broker, I can do more and I can do more. And are there other things that we can do as a broker to make sure that our agents are secure? Because there is nothing that is more important than protecting the life of our agents. There's no transaction which is important to run out that door and meet a client that you don't know. So when I had the opportunity to participate as a mentor in Second Century Ventures and meet Adam, his story is phenomenal of why he started this company. But one of the results of our introduction is that we're so proud at my local board to announce that we are providing his product to all of our agents at no cost should they choose. And it's a personal security measure to help our agents if they're out in the field to connect with clients. And please welcome Adam with Guard Llama because he has a, just a wonderful product to help protect not only our business but our lives. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Adam Havey with Guard Llama, and before this presentation begins, I need to let you know that there are several trigger events for sexual assault and domestic violence survivors in this presentation. I'm a rape crisis intervention counselor with the YWCA in Chicago, and I have over 500 hours of counseling experience. So if you or someone you know is going through something, needs resources, or needs to talk to somebody, please come see me after the presentation. I'd be more than happy to help. I'd like to tell you about a, a, an event that changed the way that I viewed the world forever. My senior year of undergrad, a freshman art student, decided to do some sketching in a local park. That day, she was kidnapped, raped, and murdered. This had happened only a block from my house in the middle of the day. And what's even more bizarre is that she had her cell phone with her. This should have been her lifeline to the world. It did absolutely nothing to help her. If she would have had a way to alert the authorities of her situation, her parents may have never had to receive that phone call. Her name was Tony Keller, and it is my firm belief that Guard Llama would have saved her life. Now, none of you have probably heard of Tony. There's no reason you should. I tell you it because of the genesis of Guard Llama. The story you're all familiar with is that of Beverly Carter. Beverly Carter was a real estate agent who went to show a home in a remote location to a prospective buyer. Five days later, her body was found in a shallow grave 20 miles from that house. When they asked her murderer why he did it, he replied, she was just a woman who worked alone, a rich broker. Now, back when we had started this, we had no idea how big of a problem it actually was. If there's one thing I want you to take away from this presentation, Besides Tony and Beverly's story, it's this. The numbers one in three. One in three women in this country will become victims of sexual assault or domestic violence by an intimate partner at some point in their life. That means that everyone in this room has either been personally affected or knows someone who has. And if you don't think you do, you do. They just decided not to tell you. But how can this be? Isn't help always just a phone call away? Well, sometimes, like in Tony's and Beverly's case, dialing for 911 is simply not an option. 911 is a great resource. We have the time to locate, unlock your phone, dial for help, and safely explain the nature of your emergency. Where 911 falls short is in situations where your offender has the element of surprise, or even worse, has your trust. Now, even when you can call, you will spend the next two and a half minutes on average answering a series of questions to the dispatcher. The most important question being, where is your emergency? Contrary to what Hollywood shows us, geolocating a caller takes over 30 minutes and is only accurate within 300 yards. 
So if you're in an area where the address is not necessarily defined, such as a park, or if you simply do not want the person in the room next to you to know that you were dialing 911, there's absolutely nothing they can do for you. So how do we solve this? After downloading the Guard Llama application and filling out your physical and medical profile, you receive a Bluetooth remote that can easily be attached to your keys, a backpack, or a purse. In the event of emergency, simply tap the button two times to send your exact GPS location and security profile to our 24-7 UL listed and federally certified dispatch center. The police now know exactly where you are and exactly what you look like. So they respond more effectively and efficiently than ever before, ultimately reducing the dispatch time by over 80%. Now I'm sure you've heard of other tech companies in this space that are trying to tackle this problem, but the key word here is trying. Here's what Guard Llama does that others do not. Other companies require you to have their application open with your phone out expecting an attack. Guard Llama allows for wireless activation so you keep your phone safely tucked away in your purse or your pocket. Other companies don't send their users altitude. We always send our users altitude so you can be found in any building taller than one story. And other companies only alert your friends and family. Guard Llama always alerts the police directly because in a real emergency, every second counts. Since joining REACH, we've had some incredible milestones. We launched our fully tested product in August. Since then, we've grown from 100 customers to over 1,500 customers. We've reached out to over 120,000 realtors with personalized safety content and procedures so they can stay safe on the job. And what I'm most proud of is that Two weeks ago on Monday, we actually saved a woman from an assault. She was leaving a grocery store in New Orleans with her daughter when she was approached by a man. The situation quickly turned violent. She tapped the button and the police were there in less than two and a half minutes, saving her and her daughter and putting a criminal behind bars. Reach has opened an incredible amount of doors. We have partnered with over 20 state associations, local associations, and franchises across the nation. I wish Guard Llama would have been around 10 years ago. I wish that for Tony, I wish that for Beverly, I wish that for their friends and their family. We can't do anything to change the past, but we can do more to change the future for people like Tony and Beverly. Come see me at booth 1245 to learn how you can help bring safety and security to millions of people. Thank you. Uh, if anybody has any questions, I'd be more than happy uh, to answer. Uh, the monthly fee, so we actually do a deal with real estate. Uh, retail is $200, um, and the yearly fee is $99.95. And that includes the remote and the 24-7 uh, monitoring. That's actually a really good question. So one of the things we wanted to do was not only provide police assistance, but also give you a, a peace of mind. So let's say you're walking from your work to a parking garage. You can actually call our dispatcher by tapping that button, and we, we give you a call first. One, to verify if it's a false alarm. If you don't answer, we send the police immediately. But if you do answer, you get to talk to a live person um, and just tell them your situation. Say, hey, I just want to see if you guys have my location. I'm going through uh, an area, or I'm going into a showing. Um, and I want you to be aware that you may be getting something from me very soon. I, I, uh, I bought a, a, a system for my agents which is a little different. Mm -hmm. uh, it turns on the phone speaker, I mean microphone, mm -hmm. and the company, not the police, is able to listen to the conversation and determine whether it's getting them safe. Mm -hmm. No, we don't have anything like that. We've actually thought about video and audio recording in version two, um, but that would just make the system a little bit too bulky. We want to make it a very simple act. We don't want many steps in between. So you tap a button and the police are going to come to you. Yes, that's actually one of the most impressive parts on our back end. Um, so we saw that in uh, situations with kidnapping, you would obviously need an updated GPS location. So every three seconds it updates, 
And it not only creates a line on the map that we can share directly with the dispatch, but it also says how fast you're going and in what direction, so that the police can meet them, in, can meet in front of them to stop them. Yes, the GPS is tied to the cell phone, not the device. No, the phone call comes regardless. If you want to talk to, uh, talk to our monitoring station or talk to me and say, hey, when I tap this button, don't call me. Um, just send the police regardless. We give that option, um, but false alarms are you know, potentially more common than in an actual emergency situation. What's that? Is it available in Canada? No, um, we're actually working on making available Canada in 2016. Um, they actually have a very similar 911 system. Um, the only difference is that the government keeps the uh, public safety answering point numbers uh, private, so we'd actually have to partner with the Canadian government to do that. What's that? Oh, if you're out of cell range. So we actually have a 99.9% .9 redundancy system. So if you have data, if you have Wi-Fi, if you have cell service, obviously if your phone is, has com no way to contact anybody, um, it's not going to work, just like if, if 911 wouldn't work. Um, so yeah, we work in 92% of the United States. Um, so yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, too many questions. Thank you guys so much.